This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Dude, that's, that's not bad. Walked up to the swap meet this second. Oh boy. Swap meet skateboard. How much is a skateboard? 60. 60? Man, I really like it though. This thing is really good. This old dagger right here. I may have to see if she can do 50. I might just pick it up for that. I was about to walk away and she's like, make me an offer. And I, she was, I'm like, how about 40? And she was like, let's do it, Ricky. Check it out, baby. Hey, look at these daggers. The dag oh gosh. <laughs> Don't hurt me, buddy, Ricky. Yeah, the, that thing is. Give me your best Tony Hawk smile, Ricky. Ew. What? Look at this, a Dragon Ball backpack? A Dragon Ball Super backpack along with some mildly good games? Okay, let's see, let's see. I'll, I'll go give him an asker on this. That's pretty good. Ricky's applauding for me. Thank you, Ricky, I appreciate that. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. How convenient is that? Especially during and after the holidays. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. I love HelloFresh because the food is sourced directly from US farmers. It goes from farm to your table in under a week. HelloFresh is a meal kit for everyone from vegetarian, pescatarian, and kids slash family friendly. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than eating out at a restaurant and it helps cut down on your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. To try out HelloFresh, Fresh, just click the link below. You'll get 70% off your first order plus free shipping. It's so easy and delicious, you might never have to go to the grocery store again. Yes, Ricky's over there. Ricky, what'd you get, bro? I got me some overalls. <laughs> Let's see, bro. <laughs> Dang, bro, those for working or for strutting? Ricky got the Dragon Ball backpack, by the way. But dude, I know. sweet Dragon Ball, but I mean, no one cares about this, but I, oh, dude, I haven't had overalls in like 30 years. Yeah, man, so you can start with you. Osh, bosh, bagosh is the last time. Yeah. Roscoe, what about you, bro? What'd you oh, grab? Oh, dude, I found this uh, Black Label Society. Ooh. Oh, lolly, lolly, lolly. Man. lolly. <laughs> uh, Bette Midler, Total Eclipse of the Heart. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Ricky got, so you got all this for fun? All of them. Oh my gosh, look at this. Right? Oh yeah, authentic Xbox. But Ricky, here's the test, ready? Yeah. How is the battery pack? Stinking clean. That's a clean me. Ricky just got a Gucci mama. <laughs> Okay, Holmes, you made me feel a little warm and fuzzy inside. Yo. Dang. Look at, let me see that way. Let me see this. No way. The dust ball just pulled out some fire gang, gang banger jackets. Let's see it. I love this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh my wow, gosh, dude. this is wild and scary and amazing at the same time. Holy moly. What size is this? Is it like extra big Triple size? X. This says fucking murder Mike, bro. Oh my murder gosh. 187 Mike, dude. Wow. It's actually. I'm scared. I'm gonna get it across my neck now. <laughs> I don't even know how long my fingerprints on that. <laughs> we just all walked right past this. You got a Commodore Plus 4. Look at this right here. It's, I mean, the box is a little, little Rusko, janky. Who is that? The right morning's there. a little bit wet, but it looks like it has the yep. plugs and everything. I'm gonna ask how much for this little guy right here. Let's see. How much is this? 20. 40. Wow. Okay, I gotta do a little more research on this. I'm not the most knowledgeable with this stuff, but still super cool. All right, pretty awesome score way to start the morning, especially with like a little learning experience for me. So I got the Commodore Plus 4, but I'll be honest, I know about the Commodore 64, not heavily to yeah. be honest, but decently. But this, I okay, so I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think I've ever seen a Commodore Plus 4, especially in the box. So we're talking value-wise, this thing, I just saw one loose sell for $200. Uh, on eBay, but this thing's like complete. It's got the styrofoam. It has, look at this, Ricky, oh. the original plugs. Dude, the but, fact that it has the books. But I don't, do you know anything, anybody know anything about the, but it looks like this is more of a like, not so much of a gaming system, but look like word, they're advertising word processing, spreadsheets, graphic, or well, maybe with graphics, data management. I was thinking it was more for like starting a new band, maybe a disco group called the Commodore 64s. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Keep looking. Oh yeah, Bucky. Yep. Bucky O'Hare, how much are they? Uh, so the plushies are two for five. The toys, I have no idea. Oh wow! So how much are the toys? Uh, they're three for ten, but I don't three for ten debating. Good. Right on. Check this out, though. Oh yeah, count, count chalk, the... count chalk. <laughs> Who's that? That's the old Tricks. Nestle Quick. Tricks. Oh, it's Tricks. That's right. And, and this is cinnamon toast scrunch. Wow. Oh yeah, that's actually really cool. That's Ricky. really cool. That's a cool little bundle right All there. All General Mills. That, that's really cool, actually. I like that, Ricky. Good job on that one. I'm gonna find you the other guy. Dr. Robotnik. He's taking a big risk right now, taking a big risk because those new plushies are clean and white and this floor is wet and dirty. Go ahead, Ricky. Oh gosh. I'll try to save you if I can. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> 
I feel like I owe you five bucks for making you play that. I was having a good morning until I saw these three ugly mugs. Oh. What's up, dog? Hey, what's, up, what's up, what's up? Yeah, 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 what up? yeah, 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 bro. Hey, I got it to warn you though. My editor just got done editing the video where you did that fake phone call and you were like, uh, phone call, phone call, and I was like, Hey, bro, that sounded really Asian. I'm warning you now. <laughs> I'm warning you now. That's right, he put, he put in the meme. <laughs> so I'm just making it clear for anybody who gets mad. Taking the easy way out. Blaming the editor. I see you, ref. I just got lo done looking through all these games. It was nothing, like, in particular that I needed or wanted. Ooh, Bioshock 2, actually. A good one after I say that, of course. But uh, I'm going to pick up these. They're a little dewy from the morning, but we got Sylvester and Tweety, a great pop. And then you got John Wick with Dog, by the way. And then, come on, guys. For us, it's still Christmas season. You got Mariah Carey. The pop rocks. What do you want for Christmas, Ricky? All right, so these are not necessarily things I like to collect, but they're actually pretty valuable. Well, some of them hold decent value, let me tell you. Most of these are in like the 17 to 20 something dollar range, early 20s, but this one itself is worth over $30. Who would have knew? And just like that, I'm adding to my pile. By the way, my pile is maybe small, but it's mighty. So I picked up this Mountain Dew, like old riot shield right here. This is sick. Okay, this is a vintage Mountain Dew sign. It's funny, Ricky and I, I was like, okay, this thing's vintage, it's sick. And the guy that was selling it, normally I'm like, dude, it's super overpriced. Ricky's like, what would you pay? I'm like, dude, I paid 20 bucks for this thing. Even though I know it's, it's like a cool, probably like an $80 sign. That's the first price he threw out. So although it will look cool in the background, I'm gonna use it, Ricky, like this. Lock it in here. We are Sparta. God. <laughs> this is Sparta. This is what I get for making Ricky play the game with the stuffed animals and the plushies that hit the ground right after, right after I stepped on my shoelaces. Dang it. What's better than picking up the two most family friendly figures on earth? Mickey Mouse and Joseph Camel. Yeah, man. Kids in TV land, you're being dumped. There's a good like size by size comparison of a uh, Xbox 360 and then the new Series S right there. Well, I don't know if new anymore, but new when I see it in the box, it looks like it's a regular. Oh yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay. That's how they get you. You know if this works? Don't know, dang. That's the scariest part for me. Oh, got it, okay. How about the, did you test this one out? They're the same, the same thing. How much oh, you Oh, same person? 175. 175. Hmm. Dang. I'm scared, bro. I, I don't know. A non-working one would be a paperweight for me. Do you know if this has cords with it or cables yeah. or anything? Oh, oh, okay. Does this one go for that? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Man, I don't know. I'm scared of this. So I was going to get that um, Xbox 360 bundle, the Modern Warfare 3. He went down to 80, but when I opened up the controller, it was gone. So. It was gone completely. It's got rust on it. Yeah. I mean, 80 isn't bad. They probably sell for around... 100 to 150, but without the controller not being usable, that's like one of the main reasons I wanted it. So it's a no-go. I mean, my cart still looks great, but you know. Oh, they got the mask. VHS, Greggy. That's a good one, bro. You need it? But look, they got these. Oh, this one's kind of nice. I said you pick it up. Uh, pick them up. There's this one too. I have so many. Here, this, How much are the controllers? Five bucks. What game? I don't see a game. You see a game? Right here, look, ATV, not for resale. Oh, I have that. <laughs> not for Phoenix resale. Hey, loser! This thing's straight from Beijing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put it on, Ricky. I bet it's going to look good on you. Be honest. I love it. It's touching my face. I don't You're like it. You're fogging up so much. <laughs> this is actually pretty sick. Yeah, this. Look at this hat, Ricky. Oh, dang, that's really cool. Oh, Ricky, you want it, bro? Nah. Highway to the danger zone. What about this hat right here? What's this, an Angel's corduroy? Oh yeah, I actually own that exact hat, no joke. Yeah, I really do. Digging through a VHS pile with Roski and Ricky, and right here we got Nemesis Sealed, by the way, a provocative, sleek thriller. Elton John, World Tour, World Tour 1992, classic queen. Ooh, look at Thin Lizzy right here. Thin Lizzy. You got the Jetsons movie? There's a lot oh, of good stuff kind of high. Oh, man. Oh, it's a See, now that's a cool one. White With snake. Tower. And then Elton Clapton. Wow, Elton Clapton. Clapton. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this guy saying? So we're still looking. 
through all this VHS stuff, and there's actually some really good stuff. Stallone, Cobra, I mean, let's be honest. Baywatch, Pamela Anderson, I'm not even gonna say anything for you 90s boys who just know. And then what else? Roscoe found a couple more over here. Yeah, yeah, the so, oh, the, the Serpent and the Rainbow. Yeah, I found that, not Ricky. Stupid Ricky found it and gave it to Roscoe. I That's didn't know right. who I don't blame him, I don't blame him. I would have given it to Roscoe too. <laughs> Dusty, pantalones. Well, God, you, oh, Ten bucks, bro. What, only if you try them on for me, though. All right. I want to see you wear them, bro. Boys are over here looking. Ricky's looking at this. Single stitch starter magic. Right? Oh, he said 10 bucks. Nice. Oh. Okay, Ricky, what you got right there? A single stitch. Steve Miller. Miller. That's dope. I think that's more your size, too. What's up? That's, that's awesome. Dude. All right, Dusty, here's that Steve Miller shirt. Here's your, you asked for 30. Here's 30. But I'm going to give you a quarter to flip. You call what you want. If you get it, I give you an extra five Go bucks. What is it? Heads or tails? Five? What are you calling? Oh, uh, it's a steak quarter, bro. So you call it tails. Tails? Okay. Yeah, steak quarter is always going to tails. Oh, I'm going to let it go. Well, tails. Damn, hell yeah. Dude. There you go, bro. <laughs> There it is, baby. <laughs> and there is what I just played Dusty for a 19, I think 89, yes, tour Steve Miller band shirt. I love the fade on it. It is, oh yeah, see this is one of what I call one of those like perfect shirts. It has a little funk, but you give it a wash and honestly this look, this color, the soft purples, you know, it's like not that extreme colors. Roscoe, by the way, needed to buy some sunglasses. Could he look cooler right now? No, he couldn't, dude. This now he looks cooler. Get a room, you two. All right, I've been looking actually for some blazers around my size. I think I can pop a sock in here to kind of reform it. But uh, yeah, they're my size. I'll rock these. These are dope. My my daughter just bought some blazers, and my daughter was like, "You should buy some too, Daddy. It's the cool you like shoe. me?" Yeah, I'm in. They're my size. To be honest, I don't even know what those go for, but I'm like overly excited more than I have been because I've been looking for them for a little while now. So just to finally lock them in, feel Roscoe. Also, you're wearing a microphone. How do I you am, feel? I Wait, feel no. Great. Tell me how you feel from far away. How do you feel, Roscoe? Dude, I feel like a million dollars. Yep, keep going. Green and old. Can you believe it? Yeah, baby. I'm holding Rift shoes right here. I'm taking a good smell check. Mmm. You know what they smell like? They smell like heaven. They smell like cheap. They smell like tobacco, tobacco, tobacco. I'm with you on how cool old cameras can be. Oh, dude, look at this. It's a handle grip. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my super gosh. Handy. I love that. Even these old Polaroid land cameras, like this thing opens up and it gets all this wild stuff that going on That is wild. Here. Yeah, man, they're super cool. This one's a little skunky, but wow, I love this kind of stuff. That is sick. Also behind us, there is oh. a bunch of uh, toys and stuff back here. Batman Animated Series. I've never been a Star Trek guy. <gasps> American Gladiators. If they had Malibu, I would buy it because I know him. What else? They got Coneheads? What? Look at Roscoe Coneheads, bro. Where? Coneheads toys right behind us. This is definitely really cool. Nice. 25 piece food. puzzle. So one of my best Christmases ever was one of those mornings where my parents came down. You know the story, you go find all the, you come downstairs and there's toys everywhere. Mine was filled with Batman stuff and it was this series, this line from Batman Forever. Look at this Taz right here. Oh, this is so cool. Old Taz pillow. You know what I just saw on the table from far away though, Roscoe, an ET lunchbox. I wanna go see that. Yeah, that's sick. What is it? Who is it? Oh Snow yeah, White Snow White. Horse. Old Snow White. You like... know, Snow White really knows how to keep this, or Dizzy <laughs> really knows how to keep this going. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, Disney. This is, this is not a cool, Disney dude. exclusive right here. Well, this yeah, is, that's uh, clearly uh, on that the bootleg. Disney. bootleg. All right, if you're a shirt person, you know a vintage shirt person. Old, like, vintage band shirts, like, especially good high-end band shirts can be really expensive. Roscoe, from a guy who actually overcharges all the time. Yeah. This 1988. Is a single stitch, Eric Clapton, mm -hmm. vintage 1988. Paper thin. Paper yeah. thin, yeah, it's got a little worn Magoo's oh, in it. I love it. But that's I got it. Want. What's the other one? The other one is this sleeveless single stitch Moody My Blue shirt. My gosh, dude, 84. Super rad. And the front is cool too. Summer Nights 84. Oh, that actually is really cool, dude. I love this. Yeah, that, that was very surprising that this was 30 bucks, dude, by the way. And they're great sizes. Yeah. I mean, they're like perfect for like smoking hot babes, you know? Uh. <laughs> A few booths back, I did pick up Gladiator Zap and the Red Challenger. So not only is this like a show that I watched as a kid all the time, but what I think makes it really interesting, besides, yes, besides my sister dating one of the characters on here, is this Red Challenger very much reminds me of the NES game, like extremely reminds me of the NES game. And I think it's one of the most underrated multiplayer games, not only just in the Nintendo, but in general, everyone's always talking about the big multiplayer games that everyone talks about in the Nintendo. But next time you're with your friends and you pull out a Nintendo and you're looking for a great good time on the NES, you've got to put in American Gladiators.
unexpected throwback. This was a life staple for me, a Korg guitar Ooh, yeah. tuner. Man, the amount of times that I've sat with this on my, my lap right here while I tuned her up, test drive off-road, already have it. <laughs> Roscoe the other day was uh, standing by me and I'm like, you smell amazing, what cologne is that? So now he's trying to find it for me here. Oh, really? Yeah, I want it now. I'm like, I want it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, one, two. He scores. There's that. Yeah, Thank baby. you, sir. You know, I would think when I'm buying Versace that they would think of a better name than Versace Poor Home. But apparently that's what you, you wear. And it's like, do, yeah. it's like a hundred dollar cologne, but I'm not gonna lie, bro. This guy walked by me the other day and I was like, my goodness, you smell good. And it was like four times. After like four times, I was like, I have to buy it. Yeah. Who knew this would be picking up on the show? You also licked my neck too, which I thought was a little strange, but I went with it. Finger licking good. That's the end of the road. Hey, Roscoe and Ben, will you guys tell people that they need to go subscribe to Pixel Plus because it's cool? Yeah, go subscribe to Pixel Plus because it's cool. We're at my house. I completely lied. Roscoe was like, hey, I got some more stuff for yeah, you. Man. So I was like, what? <gasps> what is this? These are some Peewee figurines. They were like, what? they were a reissue from Reaction a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reaction does cool stuff though. These are cool, man. They're super wow, rare. Wow, I, I had this idea that I was going to get the whole, uh, the whole, whole set. The whole, whole set, but I just never did. Never pulled the plug. So now they're going to you. Wow. As well as this shoot off Teddy, Teddy Ruxpin. Ruxpin. You know what I'm saying? I also have Ooh, a, this is cool. Oh yeah, that is cool. I've had this since I was a kid. Wow, that is man. really awesome. I love, love that, dude. Here's a uh, Oscar the Grouch plushie from the 90s. <laughs> Super cute. Oh, I love um, it. Look at his hat. Well, yeah, dude, his this head. This is cool for the Christmas season. It's a Mighty Ducks um, <gasps> stocking. Vintage stocking. That's uh, awesome. It originally came with a stick, but unfortunately, the stick is long gone. Sad. Sticky. There's also some Club 33 years that I picked up. Oh, swapping. yeah. Whoa. They're a little. Oh, yeah. That's like a weird little. It's just like a lot of little random. random and this is like Trinket here. Central in here. Well, thank you, here's man. A, I appreciate a, you. But yeah, just some fun stuff for you, man. Hey everyone, my name is Editor Jared. It's with deep sadness that I must announce the end of the For My Son meme. Riff has decided to say goodbye and close this chapter forever. We'll miss you For My Son meme, and you'll be in our hearts forever. Rest in paradise. For my son! For my son!